Hello everybody, and welcome to my fourth part of my uh, XCOM Enemy Within playthrough. I uh, noticed over here at the end of my last video, this was glowing, but there's a melon container rotating right there. But for some reason it's uh, in the fog of war when I reloaded the game. But uh, let's head over there first. And let's be very careful. There now. Let's move over here with my heavy. Later in the game, I guess it doesn't matter so much with these weapons, but like the plasma heavy weapons and the laser ones too, they'll destroy cover. So I usually like to shoot with the heavies first. Alright, nothing right there in that trailer anyway. Uh, Overwatch with you. Okay, let's see. Here's our assault. So there's nothing any farther beyond her, so let's go ahead and move this guy right here. That's what we're looking for. Wow, three turns. Alright, well. I guess I will get my sniper up to a good position also. Try not to reveal anything. This is probably the only guaranteed spot that that would happen. Um, there's probably aliens around the meld somewhere. But, if they can't see anything, she won't see anything right there, I don't think. Okay, let's go for this meld and then worry about the next one. Okay, apparently there's no aliens directly around it. Uh, we'll move her up to this cover. If she reveals something, hopefully one of my teammates can kill it. But apparently it won't matter now. Okay, well, let's just secure this piece of meld. I would like to get this sniper into a... Uh, at least... There's the other meld container rotating right there, so... Let's get a nice overlook of that. If I go up there, I'll assuredly alert some aliens. And I could also go up here, which would also alert some aliens. And he doesn't have squad sight yet, so I should probably just take him on the ground. Well, there's none right there. Uh, let's see, assault. You can move up here. Alien object in sight. Oh wow, that was only got five turns to go. I guess I better move if I want to get all the meld. Okay, and my support. Fire Come to this one then. Hopefully this one didn't. Okay, nothing got revealed here. Let's put these people on Overwatch. You get your pistol out. And uh, you also get your pistol out for the Overwatch. Because the shotgun's going to be worthless unless somebody comes right up on him. Okay, let's have the heavy go. I'm on the move. Get this one turn. Wow. Got the goods. And then it looks like well, there's the end of that. So this map isn't all that large. Heading there let's now. Get right here with the heavy. Okay, we gotta be real careful because we haven't run into a single alien yet. And we're already this far into the map. So she could dash to it right now, but let's be safe about this. Get her behind that pole. Oh god! There's two groups. Just from jumping down there, revealing them. Okay, well. She might be dead. Let's see, did anybody clump up? Where'd that other one go? Oh, damn, I forget where that one ran to. Uh, 
think that lighting up indicates I would blow it up if I hit it with the grenade. So I guess this isn't an option. Just got 32% chance here. Can I run and gun with our other buddy here? Oh, let's see. He doesn't see anybody. Get your sniper out. Still no shots. This is not good. 3%. Can he dash up to it? Yes. Okay, let's run and gun. Moving to firing position. And get this guy. Orders confirmed. On the move. Oh wow, I've got everybody flanked, but 100% only on that. Hand, I guess let's command. collect the meld now. Did we just get that on the same turn? I believe we did. <laughs> At the expense of a ton of risk. So... Um... Actually, I could put him in smoke. And take the guaranteed shot. Or I could attempt to shoot him and go for the 75% chance over there. Either way, he's going to be shot by a lot of people, so I think I will go with the smoke option. And go with the 100% chance right now. Bye bye. Well, I can't get us both, so... Alright, all that's going to do is increase his defense, but better than nothing. Um, let's get this guy behind the full cover. Well, you still can't see anything. That's full cover there too, but I'll take this side. I guess I'd rather them try to shoot the guy in the smoke, is what I'm thinking there. There we go. Oh, he's getting a boost. And this guy's surely going to attempt to shoot the guy in the smoke. There we go. Okay, you got one more chance. And you got a nice, close shot for it, too. Oh, thank God. Thank God for that smoke. Let's see if we can see anything from inside the trailer. No. Although I do believe I can get a grenade down there, just in case. So I'll remember that for later. And you still can't see a thing. She can definitely get a flank shot there, but I think she can also get a shot on this guy. Nice. Yes, I'm gonna go for the double kill here. Great. Okay, one left. And now she, uh, how long does this smoke last? Probably just one turn. Oh wait, he can probably get a guaranteed kill here. So let's see if this guy can get into a position, because I would like for him to get a kill so he gets squad sight. There we go. Um, I would like for him to have the elevation bonus. You probably can't see him from here because I don't think she was seeing anybody. Uh, Got it. Let's move you here. Get your pistol out. Oh man, it would be 49 if actually. I don't want to waste a grenade when the guy when that guy can shoot him for. I can still get his weapon fragments. So, 
pistol it is. 49% chance. Oh, and it's not going to kill him here. Okay, well, at least you hit, I guess. You tried, right? Uh, wow, I don't like 67% when I'm right next to him here, but... Oh, for Christ's sake. That is not good. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, Heading there now. I guess I'll try to bait out in the event. I mean, he's going to go for the easiest shot. Or he's going to get scared and run off, like they sometimes do. Oh, shit. Ow, oh, that hurt. It could have been a lot worse. If he'd have criticaled, it would have been over. So for the love of God, can my sniper see him? No. Is there any universe in which my sniper could see him? Position confirmed. Looks like yes. Now can he hit him? Probably not. I'm gonna have a repeat of last turn. So who would I rather have promoted here? Uh, let's go for the faster medic. 100% for the love of God, don't fail. Another day. Wow. Another successful Four operation. All right, well, let's go back to base. I know I have it on classic difficulty because I checked the beginning of the first video to make sure. Maybe it's just because I've already played this. It feels a little less intimidating than it did my first time. Alright, who do we got here? Ah, oh, that's the support. Okay, so we can give her sprinter or cover fire. Allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. Uh, which are the uh, overwatch shots. Uh, but I want to make my first support a medic and uh, my screen just minimized there. I hope it didn't screw up the recording. Um, yeah, so if she can sprint, that means she can get around faster to uh, hand out or to heal people. So I'm going to go with that. And let's see, Neil, which I believe is our sniper. I don't remember anymore. Actually, no, he, he was the assault. He's the only one that got shot. Okay. We remember, got some more engineers. We will be watching. No money. What do we got to sell on the gray market? We got some stuff. Um... The new engineers arrived this morning. That's right, I do have a satellite up right Always coming glad in. to have more help down here. How much does a satellite cost now that I've got all those engineers? 18 engineers, $63. Nice. So I could get one up, but... Uh, the end of the month is coming in nine days. So I think I'm just going to wait because it won't matter for this the, this next month's income. All right, so uh, let me just make sure. I think here. Go back to. Okay, do I have a? I need a power generator being built. How much of those? Sixty dollars. Well, is there any way I can make a quick 60 bucks? Ugh, good God, probably not. I'd have to sell 30 of these or something along those lines. I would think I'm going to regret this. I don't really need that many sectoid corpses. Uh, let's try something along those lines.
And I'm going to have a column of uh, energy buildings here to eventually land at the steam. And have a nice amount of power coming in from that. Five days, huh? Right. I'd like to excavate a little further, but... This is an access left. Fifty dollars and two power. This is completely out of the question. Okay. Let's go back to mission control. Oh wait, did I get a medal? I think I did. Yes. Urban combat badge again. Let's give it to, uh... Oh, Neil's already got it. <laughs> well, let's give it to our other wounded guy. He's a rookie. He could use it. Nice work, Rook. Okay. Scan for activity. Right, he's back. Okay, we've finished weapon uh, fragments. We can now build scopes, which help with aim. Increase the aim. Okay, so now, uh, what do we want here? Finish weapon fragments to quickly move on to laser weapons. Beam weapons. God, 34 days. Well, the end of the month is coming up, and I'll get some more scientists. And all this is really going to do is... Well, it'll give me the nano vests, I think, but it's really just to be able to get to... Uh, uh, the armor, carapace armor. Yeah, the benefit of playing this before is you kind of know where these lead. There's no tech tree or anything, so you sort of just got to remember. I really want these weapons, so I guess I'll just start the slow research for it. So, uh, all right, let's uh, continue here. We've got a satellite and uplink coming in. It looks like it might be too late. Couldn't really help it though. That's the power generator finished. Power generator complete. I just want to see if I can do anything else. I would like a cybernetics lab. Fifty dollars and three power. I can get it now. Fifty and two. I guess I could get an access lift or... Oh, God. Wait, did the... Cybernetics... Oh, uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, cybernetics. Counts as a workshop, so I can put it here. Which means I need an access lift. Which means I need $50. Ugh. I'm gonna have to wait till I get some more money somehow. Let's continue on over here. I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of activity this month. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. All right, I might as well go ahead and launch this right before the council report, so I get a tiny bit more income for the end of the month. Okay, so the places that are freaking out right now are. Canada, Mexico, and Russia. I guess the obvious choice is Russia because I would get the most money. So Canada is 150 for Mexico. I was about to say 80. And 150 for Russia, which is the obvious choice there. I need as much money as I can get. Of course, I would rather have the bonus faster, because I'm going to have from here, because I'm going to have to get aircraft up to protect these satellites. Nothing to report at the moment. Boards are clear. He comes up randomly and says things, so... Let's launch it over Russia. Yep. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum yeah. capacity. I don't have to worry about interceptors yet, because it takes three or four days for that... Uh, to get there. Operation of four days, so at the end of the month, which will be in one day, I'll have enough money to get some interceptors sent over there. 
So let's go with this. Incoming transmission. Here's the council. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Thank you. Your Even recent results were beyond our expectations. Countries, especially and in North that America. is not a statement this council makes lightly. I know, you don't have to say it. I'm awesome. Okay, let's we will uh, be carry in on. Touch, Commander. Looks like I got a monthly reward of $422, so I've got a buttload of money now. Four days and another satellite is done. I must have read something wrong because I got $300. So, does that mean I got... Nope, I got Jack in there. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. 19 We're engineers. Glad to have more help down here. I think 20 and I can do something else like build another uplink or something. Satellite's not what I wanted. From what little I've seen of their technology, Hanger, that's what I was thinking of. the aliens were intent on conquering Earth. Okay, so we There's need some over to Europe. To stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. 80 bucks. I might as well go with two, just in case one gets close to being shot down, even though it's going to add up here with 40 bucks a month. But I'd kick myself if one got shot down and then the satellite got shot down or something. I've never had a satellite be, satellite be shot down, but I've never played very deep in this difficulty either. Uh, okay, let's see now. 220 bucks. So I'll definitely excavate that now. Build the access lift. And I think I'll build a cybernetics lab when that is done. Over here, right next to the workshop. Okay, so not bad. Uh, I guess... Oh, I still need to build. Lab, meh. Don't want any of this yet. So let's continue on. Actually, okay, one more day until that's done, and then I should be able to support a lot more satellites. It'll be two plus one, so three more. I've got one satellite coming, so I should be able to buy two more. So I guess I'll go ahead and queue that up. Uh, they only cost 63. Easy decision. See, I should have waited on this one until they cost 63. I'd have saved like 15 bucks. Which I guess doesn't seem like much, but I'm sure I'd rather. That's like three corpses. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Alright, satellite uplink finished. I think you only see these for the first time you finish them. Complete. Yep, very good. Um, yeah, I gotta wait for the uh, access lift to be done, I think, to do any, to consider doing anything else. So, interceptor order arrived, and we have some abductions. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions mm -hmm. in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Okay, if I... I feel like I have enough engineers now, I could use maybe one more, or go up to 30 eventually, but uh, I will get some for sending satellites over some countries, I think. At the end of the month I'll definitely have another one. I don't know how much money I will have, of course an assault sergeant would be nice. But I think I definitely need to go to Canada, because if I don't go here, this will go into the all the way full and panicking. Which I could offset by sending a satellite over it. And if I go here, yeah, if I don't, if I go to Canada, these two will go up a couple, but it'll still be manageable, I think. So I'm gonna go here. Okay. Um, I can make scopes now, and so I think. I will make two scopes to give to the... I like for the heavy to have one, unless they have grenadier. And I would like for the sniper to get one so he stops missing. So let me go back. 
to engineering. Please tell me these are cheap as dirt right now. Okay, good. Twelve dollars. Just two, please. How much for a medkit? Fifteen. I need five more dollars for that. Uh, I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm not going to bring a medkit until I've got the medic upgrade on the, on the uh, support. That way I can still use grenades. I feel like they're more useful now than being able to use the medkit once. So, let's go back. Canada. Okay. I do want the sniper going, because for the love of God, he needs to be promoted to corporal. The difference is, I'm going to change your loadout, give you the scope. So now he's at 79 aim, which is... Well, it's better. And I want you to have one too. Her aim's a lot better. It's already at 70 without giving her one. That's why she was hitting so much earlier. It might not be necessary to give her one. And I could just have the. Eh. This way she's guaranteed to get some kills and level up. So, load out. Get rid of the grenade for scope. Alright, now she's got 80 aim. The rest are good. I just want to make sure I'd rather not take a rookie on this mission. Uh, what have I got here? I've got two supports. Dolly Clark is the one that started out with some good stats, but yeah, I think I'd rather uh, level up these people, get her to medic. So yeah. I like this decision. Did he go back to his, like, default suit? I think he did. Yeah, default armor deco. Okay. That's all that changed. Alright, let's launch this and then I will end the video when we... Down. Seems like the timing's pretty good to just go one mission at a time on these. Some of the later missions are extremely long. We have visual on the mission site. You setting might have down. To cut it or something in the middle of it. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Going down to glorious Current Canada. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the. I don't know if anyone's played with the XCOM units yet in uh, Civilization V, but the Brave New World expansion added them in there. Dropped off by the Sky Ranger. And they pretty much look like this. Old badass. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Melt, but it's just Watch a your backs out there, people. Alien thing. And usually I see a meld right off the bat. There's one right there. Okay, so that's the direction I'm going first, the beginning of the next video, and I will see you in that one. Bye, everybody.